Yeah, I was really honored to be able to be bring forward the voices of the patients on this large phase three study. Um, so Keynote A18 was described by Dr. Duska very beautifully. And it's really the first advance that we've had in cervical cancer in the chemo radiotherapy space in 25 years. Um, so it's really a big deal. Uh, but it's an extension of treatment. It's more treatment. It's longer treatment. And you know, my patients, when they're done with their treatment, they're glad to be done. But the question was, does that extension of treatment impact their quality of life in a negative way? And through a very robust analysis that we presented this morning, we were able to show that it did not impact their quality of life in a bad way. The quality of life was the same between the pembrolizumab treated and the placebo treated patients. So as a practitioner for me, that gives me a measure of comfort that I'm not making things worse for my patient even though they're on extra therapy. I'm hopeful that it will give patients comfort. I think when you're faced with making a decision, I mean, a doctor like me approaches you and says, you know, here's the treatment that I recommend, but it's going to take, you know, longer time to complete your treatment than it used to take. Um, you know, here, here why, here's why you should do it. You know, Dr. Desk's presentation, that it worked, it was efficacious. Um, and our presentation, which showed that the quality of life was not uh, negatively impacted. I think that really gives them a measure of comfort when making these very difficult decisions.